We're out here today from Maury's Brooklyn Park Subaru with the new Subaru Legacy. What I'd like to do is compare that with the new Honda Accord as well. I'd like to show you some stuff around the exteriors as well as a couple cool things inside. So the Subaru Legacy here is a 2.5 liter four cylinder with a CVT transmission. What that means is you're looking at a combined 30 miles per gallon and just on the highway alone, about 36 MPGs. So as far as styling is concerned on the Legacy here, you're gonna have that hexagonal grille, which is also found in the Outback as well as a few of their other vehicles. The teardrop style headlights. So it's a nice aggressive look, but it is very safe with these headlights, giving you plenty of vision out in front. Also, you're gonna have the CVT transmission. So what I found while driving around in the Legacy is that it's really quiet, it's really comfortable. There is a six speed manual mode where you can move the gear shifter over and manually change through the six gears if you'd like. Now inside the 15 Legacy, it's completely redesigned. You're gonna have this touch screen that's part of the center display here and it's awesome. As I mentioned earlier, it is a six speed manual if you'd like. So there's panel shifters behind the steering wheel gives you a nice sporty feel to the vehicle. I mean, the symmetrical all-wheel drive is amazing in this car. Whether that's wintertime fun or driving during the summer, these paddles are great. Heated cloth seats in here as well. It's a three level for the driver and the passenger. So the thing I really like over the Accord in this Legacy here is this center display touchscreen. It's amazing for how easy it is to use. All your radio stations are gonna be right here. Your phone you can program in and have that on the screen. There's even apps in here. The exterior styling on the Accord isn't bad. I mean, it's just kind of your mundane sedan, but I do like these 16 inch alloy wheels. It's got a nice color finish, same as the body. So it's got a little sport feel to it. Uh, the headlights are nice as well. You get that kind of German styled light bar on the bottom of the headlight, which is cool. The big thing you're buying with this Honda Accord is that reputation for reliability. I know how over the years Honda and Toyota and all those Japanese manufacturers have built up the reputation that, hey, this car is probably gonna last you over 200,000 miles. There's nothing wrong with that. So now inside the 2014 Accord, I mean, it's plenty of space in here. It's comfortable. It feels a little old school to me. Honda's kind of had that same approach with the seat patterns and the dash design. It just kind of feels like a retro Accord. The other thing is that center display, it's not a touch screen like how it is in the Legacy. You do have to use the different controls over here or else up on the dash. So as far as fuel economy is concerned, this one is gonna get you one MPG better in the city, but it's not any better overall or on the highway. It's gonna be the same as the Legacy. But the Legacy is all wheel drive where this is just a front wheel drive vehicle. Come winter time, you're gonna guarantee that in Minnesota, you're gonna want that symmetrical all wheel drive in the Legacy. Thanks for watching our quick overview on the Subaru Legacy and the Honda Accord. Make sure to stop by Maury's Brooklyn Park Subaru for any further questions that you have or to schedule your test drive today. Thanks again for watching and make sure you buy happy.